Oh. Oh. oh my god, this is so cute. She wins. Uh. This proud mother every last daughter I love. I love it. My bow and Jimmy, my bow is so happy. Cuteness is just as that's why he's loved by Jimmy. My bow and Jimmy, Jimmy's so silly. Cuteness is just as that's why my bow loves Jimmy. Hello, this is Mabo. How are you, eh? <laughs> and this is Jimmy, no? Yeah? <laughs> eh? Welcome back, guys. You got a dollar? <laughs> so we are about to watch Channel Drag Race, Season 2, Episode number 8. Let's see what happens. Yes, let's see what happens. Okay, go. Boom. Your face is fucking full, like a bottom in a bathhouse. Kendall Gender, congratulations. See, some of the jokes Kimura said would have been funny had somebody like Bianca Fitz have said it. Or Alaska said it. She said it with anger. So it came off hatred. Kimura is gone and she will be remembered. She definitely will be remembered. The presence will be missed here. Isis looks fabulous. We top five! Top five! Man! Speaking of being on top, Miss Kendall! Yeah. Finally! Finally! Finally, Finally have my win! <laughs> so now the competition has really started. She is so cute. I'm so happy that the judges finally liked one of your looks. <laughs> that really is yeah. creative. I mean, how she hit it. And then it's meant to move yeah. the legs with the strings. At this point in the competition, it is anyone's game. Oh. Go, Kendall. Each of you in the top five all have different strengths. You want to beat the best. Kendall's exactly the cutest. <laughs> Doesn't it look like a turkey? That does. The winner of Canada's Drag Race, Brad Gareski, and Brooklyn Heights. Oh, wow. She's just tearing it up with those dresses, Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. Her looks lately have been really great. Yes. Oh, gold. Our final five. Lee. Chest showing his so chesticles. This is so geometric. What would your mama say when she finds out you're in the final five? Oh. 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 Is this live? Hello? Hi. What? What? Oh, my sweet. Oh. I didn't see you. Oh, my God. Well, I just want you to Aww. know. You got yourself there. Aww. And you can do it. Fuck. Oh my god. You've got this. I love Oh my you. gosh, I love you so much. Big hugs. Oh, big hugs. <laughs> oh. So proud of you. Oh my god. Bring that clown home. Of all the days, why did I wear mascara? I thought we were doing fucking puppets today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, right. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Is that her husband? Hi baby! J'avais pas encore t'es rendu I'm fucking top five but oh my god! That's amazing! And it's so much Are they allowed to tell them that? We're a team and made it top so five. I guess so. I can't wait to come and hug you. Oh. Oh. Bring back the crown Slatos. I don't know who those bitch are, but <laughs> I can wait for you to be back, but don't come back too soon, okay? Not it's cute. Yay. Very cute. You're gonna hit him up to make me some costumes. It does some injectables, so. Oh, oh, hi, now we're really. Oh, because he's, he's <laughs> a doctor. He's an MD. So he can do injectables. Oh. Someone very special waiting for you. Who dang? Oh my goodness, hi. Hi. I miss you so oh. much. I'm like honestly so proud of you. This is so cool. Oh. You okay? I love you so much. Oh my god. I have learned oh. so much from her as a person. I have been with her through her entire transition. What I learned from her in her She's strength. She's cute. Cute, 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 cute. I'm so proud of you. I'm so excited that you are able to do this. You've worked so hard and I just am so excited mm. to see what you Oh my create. god. I am here She's today beautiful. so much. Because She's like, a, like one of the so single, so single, 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 single. She totally <laughs> looks like a, a pop star. Yeah. Okay, queens. Who should go home this week and why? Oh, well, what about so oh, not all of them? Isis and Alicia. Guess who can't wait to talk to you right now? Oh, that oh. was a trick. <laughs> Hi, Isis. Hello. I love you. Oh. I miss, I miss you. you so much. Oh. From the day you started drag, I knew you were going to be on something spectacular like Drag Race. You've come really far, 
and I love you very much, and I'm very proud of everything you do. And you got this. You're bringing that crown home to your mama, Isis. You know that. <laughs> Be who you are. Be iconic, Isis Couture. We know you are. Bye. Uh, I love you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they should do this every time. Don't like, worry, Pathea. Such a we sweet... didn't forget about you. Look who's Pathia. waiting. Oh, what happened to... <laughs> Hey, it's a long time to see. Oh, well, he just had his surgery. I'm so sad that I can't be there to like take care of him. Uh -oh. I miss you so much. You have no idea how proud I am of you right now, Christos. You've worked so hard for this, and I mean, you're probably the most deserving person. And honestly, I am so grateful to be on this journey with you. I miss you so much. Yeah, I, I can't wait to see you again. The only important thing is that you fucking win. I, we need that tiara. We need that scepter. <laughs> no pressure. Right. That like really should be part of yeah. the RuPaul's Drag Race, at least in the top five no. or top four. Really? And you kind of get to know more about them. Yeah, right. Just a brief snippet. Now, many 2S LGBTQ plus high schoolers are finding their voices and are proudly stepping out of the closet for all of their peers to see. Which brings us to this week's Maxi Challenge. But they're gonna... Please help me welcome to the workroom, yeah. Ethan. They're gonna have some uh, kids. Makeover. Makeovers. Oh my god. Alex and Clover. Oh, hello and welcome to the workroom. Wow. Uh, they're lucky. <laughs> yeah, that skin. These five teams are proof that it not only gets better, but baby, it's already gotten better. Each of you will play chaperone and escort them to the draggiest prom ever. Uh, queer prom. This couldn't have happened when I went to prom. I felt like I couldn't be myself when I oh my God. I didn't wear the things that I wanted to wear. I didn't go to prom with who I wanted to. It's up to you to give your new daughter a drag makeover worthy of a prom queen. You will create their looks using products from the spectacular Shoppers Drug Mart beauty display. And we want your runway to tell a story. So you will be judged on how well you bring your teen's prom fantasy to life. I'm glad those guests were up for this challenge. Like, it's not like a straight dude or somebody's hesitating to be something. Right, they want to be yeah. here. Right. Yeah, sometimes it seems like, yeah, when so they pick the straight a, dudes, a, it's a hard thing. You know, this will be fun. Yeah. Wigs and braids. Teeny boppers. To help you prepare for your main stage oh. debut, mm -hmm. you will get a little coaching session from me. Oh, <laughs> get to sit on my lap. <laughs> Gender. As the winner of last week's you Maxi Challenge, you'll assign the duos. Oh. So, Do who's sending whom? Be a like? Is it? I'm gonna choose you, my dear, because as soon as you walk in, this kind of looks like a mini me already. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's a little bit more pretty than me and younger, obviously. Oh, but <laughs> Ethan, Gia. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. I want these teams to have the Oh, time ever. So that's good. Really people, Both think, like really happy, really bright, bright, tall, yeah. thin. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yay. I was just thinking, I love your outfit. Well, that was a Canadian pairing. I'm the nice one. I'm congenial, babe. <laughs> Now remember, this challenge is all about playing fairy drag mother oh. and helping these teen yeah. sensations achieve their ultimate prom drag fantasy. Ooh, Razors, wow. stop your engines. I'm so excited about this episode. Win. Yay! You Let's walked go. through that room, I was like, what the hell is going on? It's like looking into a younger mirror, girl. I was looking for you. I mean, I come on. This woman. <laughs> I saw your outfit, and I was like, God, I hope I get this person. Well, oh, that's have great. Have you been to prom before? I've never been to prom. Okay. I'm graduating this year. Okay. The COVID ruined our prom, oh, so no, I won't oh, be having a prom. But this is my prom now. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. 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 The history of prom is actually like really heteronormative. Yes. There's a lot of pressure to like conform. This is the opposite of that. My drag to its core is very gender fucked. Like sometimes I don't pad, sometimes I have my hairy chest out, yes. sometimes I do clown makeup, club kid, oh you know? Oh my gosh, I love that. Sometimes I am a beautiful, glamorous woman, and that's okay mm. too, right? You can just be whoever you want with drag. I kind of like deconstructing the traditional silhouettes and then mishmash it back together. I really, oh, really that's want perfect. to be a very special yeah. that's a that will stand up. Uh, Lee. Something Pathia. that you feel yeah. so comfortable and happy in. Wow, is that Pathia's drawing? I think showing some leg would be nice. As a person who's non-binary, I just feel like I never actually fit in. But like I see myself sexy. I like Good. plastic. Mm. I just feel like a plastic girl, you know. Yeah. They want to cool. 
body and I'm yeah. living for it because I serve body. I've been doing yeah, drag since I was in grade nine. What made you want to take drag seriously? Prior to me coming out as trans, I was doing a lot of drag related stuff because it just felt like home. My <laughs> drag mother is trans and I also have a trans uh, drag daughter. Oh my god. I'm so happy that you're here and I'm so Thank happy you. that you're mine. So this challenge mm. is no, top it. Yeah. I like envision a uh, sparkly red dress. I feel like red. Their dress, mouth like, is even so kind of the same. Well. Maybe not. So we have almost like a ball gown. No, it's wrong. a little bit like show girly, but we I thought maybe match. their teeth. So if you really just want your prom fantasy to be whatever color it is, I'm, I'm, I want you to be happy. When you think about yourself in drag or you think about like this sort of character, like who is she? I'm thinking glamorous. I'm thinking expensive. Oh, I mean, <laughs> it is expensive. Expensive, shiny, Kim K's wet look. Girl, do you remember that? Girl, my, my fucking drag name is Kendall Gender. You think I don't know the fucking fantasy bit? Alex must have come from my dreams, honey. Okay. Their hair's oh, even the yeah. same. Are you already my child? Since I've never done something like this. Yes. I'm gonna be a girl. I wanna be the one that everybody's looking at. I wanna be glamorous. Okay. I wanna be super pretty. Yeah. Like a I, nice dress. I think they can make my legs. Exactly. Do you think anyone says the word pretty? I'm like, this? Uh, yeah, and like you can like really just there we go. Oh. Ethan is a drag baby. He has never been in drag. He has never worn. I'm doing great right, though. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. She's a model. I am actually. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Ethan's cute. Well, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, um, we can do the models together. Yeah. Oh my god. The like photo shoots that we can do. <laughs> <laughs> what do you prefer? This. That one? Oh is it rose pink? She's yeah. She's a theater girl. Ah! <laughs> 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 Kendall's can't. His is. Uh, <laughs> Kendall's. Yes. Kendall's not walking okay. right. Not a teen show top. Already a drag queen with her merch in the parking lot. So we don't need to worry about you in heels, do we? We don't. No, we don't. She really said, I'm on Canada's drag race. <laughs> contestant number 13. Uh, Did your girl want some help? Yes. <laughs> I'm so happy that you're actually part of this with me. Me too. As like non-binary bodies, like we're able to, you know what I mean, to showcase the world mm. that hates. Hey, it's not just this gay men that do this. I perform in underground clubs in Montreal with drag kings, trans queens, non-binary folk, drag things, monsters, and I want to show them that there's a whole new world that they didn't know existed. This is a possibility for them too. They could probably do it in the future. Mm -hmm. Do we have a name yet? Electric Metric. Oh, done, right? Like my drop. Yes! And these are the fabrics. Oh my gosh, what so a cute. Color. Are you used to painting other people's faces? I've done it a few times. Good thing is that we almost kind of look alike. How much? Mm. So we, we have like similar bones. Really structure. So I have confidence that I'll be able to like pull off that glamorous prom look with electric metric. I'll see you to the prom. Yes, thank you so much, love. Cute, love. cute smile. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you look very excited. We are honestly a little match made in heaven. We both have an obsession, it turns out, with Kim K's Met Gala wet look. That was kind of like where we're basing it off of. Do we have a drag game yet? Please introduce yourself. Please welcome to the stage. Stormy. Ah! What? Is it? With an eye? Yes. Stormy? Our drag name is Stormy Gender. And oh, it's a take on Kylie Jenner's actual child's name. And then we're going with the storm, the wetness. It's, oh. it's very consensual, honey. Kendall, <laughs> how? They have to make him. Oh. Right? Yeah. So they couldn't have. Oh, hey. I'm feeling the heat. Hey. I'm feel feeling the like heat. You feel that? Like <laughs> I feel amazing and being here with ISIS is like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm loving it. So let's have uh, yeah. the look. Yay. She really wanted the color red. Red is just going to pop. So even if the silhouette is simpler. But when we think about ISIS, we don't usually think about simple. Yes, but I'm also here to show variety. Okay. I have showed you weird. I Snap. Show, like pretty. I have a, Snap. Kind of a sexy moment. I'd love to share with her. You're in such mm -hmm. good hands. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Isis, you've won two design challenges. Designing is what I do. Yeah, I, 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 I'm so excited what she's going to do. But the... I know how to put somebody together. Hi. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Tracy. Yes. Oh, so how are you doing? I'm doing so good. Yeah, they I look like they fit. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, and that's made in hell. Yeah. It's perfect. Oh, what makes it so perfect? We both had a similar approach that we wanted to take with this. We both identify as non-binary, and we really wanted to bring that sort of gender fuck aspect of my drag into 
the main stage. So when we say gender fucked, how, describe what that's going to look like. I'm going to go with more of like so a gloss and glamour and deconstructed sort of like wow. a tuxedo that's both like a very feminine and masculine shape. She's going to be wearing pants and like she's going to be wearing more like a fitted dress. So she's going to be the, like the cool goth mom. I will have to escort Clover mm. to the prom. So I will be taking it on myself to make myself a whole new look to match theirs. Did you mm. say you're going to create a second look for yourself? Yes. That so sounds like a lot actually, of work. Oh my god, it's a lot of work. It's going to be quite intense. Oh wow. So go for it and pray that we can finish in time. Wow. I hope that pays off. Friday and Friday. 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 I, I trust Friday. in Pythia. 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 We were so happy. I've always dreamed of having a prom where I like have like a beautiful dress and just like make everyone faint when they look at me. So I'm so excited oh. to just serve this high fashion realness. Yay. Yay. That high fashion prom that you want, you are getting everything, my little daughter. Kings and queens, listen All up. you've ever wanted. It's uh, a family affair tomorrow on the runway. And we'll be joined by extra special guest judge, Quebec Wall icon, Nick Sue. Oh, 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 Get I'm out. The the judging panel. Yeah. Wow. Nick Sue is an icon from Quebec. If I'm icon. Place in the club, from you Quebec. I don't know who it is. Good luck. I have no clue. Oh, 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 keep doing oh, 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 this is them getting to see the stage. So cute. <laughs> All of this is so Where cute. Is I love this. Welcome, drag baby. Have a camp. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Literally. We miss the mark. We go over here. Wow. We say hello to the judges. We model the garment again. We walk back to the center and don't cut the corners, ladies. I'm looking at you. I have been sawing past these <laughs> corners for so long. I do not stop. I don't pull. Sawing past the corners. Oh. Oh. Straighten those knees a little bit. Oh. You see the body. It's a Kendall. <laughs> it's a gender. <laughs> So happy about my pairing with Alex. That's funny as shit. Wow. Wow. Think of crossing in the front. You're doing a great job. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's maybe a little much. More like princess heels, like those rubber heels. Well, join the fucking club. We all got Oh, yes. Okay. Feel the fantasy. She has the legs of Simone. Oh, wow. I just saw it. Hey, Her the calves. thing I want to see from you is I want to see a little bit more. Yeah. There you go. A little more, a yeah. little more, a little more. Walk it, walk it, feel it, feel it. What? <laughs> what? I, I'm already confident. We got this. So, all right, uh -huh. all right. You got the Slow down a little yeah, bit. Yeah. The first She'd be okay. Time my baby electric is walking the runway. No hunching over. Yeah. Back, and slow down her. just a little bit. And let's see again. Come on. I can tell that she's a little nervous, mm -hmm. but electric has the metric gene. We're a model, are we? She's waving to her fans. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. That's oh. okay. Let's see what you got. You can do it, baby. <laughs> yeah. Oh. All right. And she's holding up. It's okay. They haven't really worn heels before. Don't do robot arms. But let them relax. Have fun. I'm quite nervous. <laughs> oh! 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 She said we're going to... Yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh. And sir. It's okay. There you it's go. okay. Bella Dana is not walking very easy heels right now. Mm. Legs for that's, days. That's very high. Uh, we're gonna work with it, and I'm gonna make sure that they are comfortable on them, and they do not. Trip. I hope not. They have, have to dance well. Yeah. <laughs> Your drag mother is very sensual. So much better. So much better. Thank you, Bella Donna. First, I thought she was joking. The, oh. the, the first walk. Right oh, really? Yeah. Kind of clomping, like, um... It's a novice Like, kimchi. Yeah, yeah, I, I thought I thought the kimchi. Yeah, it was the kimchi we'll yeti, that yeti walk. Thank you so much. And, but by... Once she got... Collected, by right? Yeah. <laughs> he knocked this shoe off. Yeah. I think I'm the only one who had to make two costumes, so a little behind. What if you put it on last minute and it doesn't work? What if my dress doesn't fit? What if it rips? I'm rushing what if, so what if, what if, what if? And it's true, there's a lot of what ifs going on. I mean, you know, it's so crazy to know that you guys get to live your truest selves in high school. I didn't really feel as comfortable back then, and you know, there was a lot of like internalized Hate. I created this club in my school. It's called Love Yourself, Love Others Club. I wm. wanted to make a space for people because 
when I was personally discovering who I was, mm -hmm. I felt like I had nobody to talk to and I felt completely alone. I'm very grateful that I had the opportunity to make that space for myself and make that space for other people too. It's so cool to see the dedication that these mm. children have to making a better future for everyone. Wow. In my school, I was lucky enough to have a GSA. We were able to get a few gender neutral bathrooms um, and like create a safe space. at the school right so you work for that i like volunteer like once a week we just love hearing that because i think that it's so important to have those conversations and you are helping the ones that are coming after you when i was in grade six someone lit my locker on fire are you serious yeah okay <laughs> someone lit just, my locker just on fire. for being hateful i think that's like when i realized that like i'm very very different from everyone else and like i'm alone in this fight but okay. I don't want to be sorry. I don't want to feel alone anymore. I want other people. Oh God, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't gonna cry. We didn't get to the island. We're fine. Um. We're fine. We're fine. <laughs> I understand what it's like to be alone, and like I don't want anyone else to have to go through that. So if I can be there for someone else, like I'm going to root for you as much as possible. Um, yeah. Listen to me. <laughs> You're now a part of the House of Couture. You yeah. will never be alone. If you ever have any negative thoughts, if there's any anything, or if you literally just want to talk to somebody, before you leave, I will give you my phone number. I'll give you all my contact information. You're never going to be alone. Oh. If ever again, I promise. My high school and experience. she's so much prettier without the glasses. Mm. You, you kind of expect. I mean, look at her without school, glasses. And you really just, gorgeous. When you get home, you're expecting that to be a safe place. And when the bullying just continues, sometimes it just feels like hopeless. The only place where I felt like I had control was what I did with my body. So I decided to take it upon myself to just like, you know, just like. Girl, it's just too much. I allowed myself to get to the point where I wanted to end my life. I woke up in a hospital, mm. and then I ended up being um, put away for a while. Didn't see the outside world. I had a lot of therapists. I was being watched constantly. It was just, yeah. It, it was it was hard and I, I completely get your struggle and I know the feeling of like not wanting to be alone So that's why I'm telling you you, you will never be alone. Okay. I promise. No. I do not enjoy the things that have happened to me But I wouldn't take them back because I love the person that I am today Okay, so I'll start by your foundation Stunning. now. So I've never really done foundation stuff. It's a very high coverage foundation, but it's very light for people with more sensitive skin, I used to work on a makeup challenge, so I did a lot of people's makeup for prom, actually. I am not a makeup artist like Pipia, but <laughs> I think that I do a pretty good makeup. Tea boppers, how are you guys feeling? I'm feeling hotter than you. Ow! <laughs> the delusion you is don't real. compare. Very you candle, don't. candle confidence. <laughs> They're not showing. Oh, my God. <gasps> <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh. This is one of my favorite, um, cha the challenges where they, what do they call it, makeover oh. challenge? This one with the kids. Yeah. Beautiful. Bam. Legs. Welcome to the main stage of Canada's Drag Race. Oh, look. It's my Top dream for dress, queen, gorge, Tracy all of it. Tracy, may I have this dance? Only if it's a slow one, bruh. Bow chicka wow wow. <laughs> You better kiss the ring because it's our prom king, Brad Goreski. Hi, Brooklyn. Do Did you get lucky on prom night? <laughs> no, I was saving myself for marriage. Or for somebody to be interested in me, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh. And it's French-Canadian pop princess, Mitsu! Bonjour, Mitsu! Hi, hi, Moncow Squirrel. <laughs> Are you feeling a little bi? Well, you know, I've always been bi by mon radio. <laughs> This week, our queens were challenged to give a gorgeous group of queer youth the prom makeover of a lifetime. Racers, start your engines, and they, they have to drag perform. <laughs> what do they have to perform? The category is Cool Mom. First up, Isis and Ruby Couture. Oh. I am Las Vegas showgirl. I am sure if she was. I don't see the connection. Lot younger. Now presenting to the world. Is it like a fire and an ice? I enjoy. Oh. Ruby Couture. 
She feels beautiful. Fire she looks That's beautiful. Creepy. It's fire but, and ISIS. Uh, oh, why the real one Ruby is the beautiful. Queen. The crown is on her head. Uh, home with the crown. Yeah, she. Wow. Next stop. Her makeup Kendall is great. And Stormy Gender. My daughter is a socialite. She is the star of the party, and I am one step behind <laughs> her at every moment, making sure that she looks good from every That's angle great. and that she feels her. <laughs> That's Kendall's scene. Two words. Stay. <laughs> yeah. She just wants to take selfies, get tagged. Yay! And like I almost look like a dad. So empowering, and it's going to inspire a lot of other people. <laughs> and Bella Donna. I'm so proud of this look. The pink fantasy is there. The body is there. A little. It's perfectly fitted. They want oh, confidence. Somebody. I do have little secrets too. I'm a coconut mom. Oh my gosh. <laughs> she sat on the dog. <laughs> like, where's the puppy? <laughs> Pythia and Apollo. I'm a wow. Wow. Baby Apollo to the prom. I am crying because I'm just so proud and happy to see them. <gasps> prom queen? No, 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 no. We cannot have that. We're going to celebrate <laughs> the beautiful queer self onto the runway. Prom I queer. I am feeling this team <laughs> Oh. <laughs> she did it better than... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's so, funny. There's no one way to be queer. There's no one way to go to prom and dress. I'm so happy I, to the, the, prom. The, the one that looked more like mother daughter was like gender. Roxia and electric. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, this is so cute. She wins. Uh, oh my goodness, she's so cute. The story is this proud <laughs> Mother, daughter, I, <laughs> I love it. The most beautiful. Yay! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She doesn't even go here. <laughs> yeah, right. Might be a mom, but damn, am I cool? Oh my god, I love this. Gia has to win this. Oh my god, the dress. It's like Disney princess. Oh, fabulous. Welcome, everyone. On behalf of all of us, may I just say... You all look so incredible. And this was by far the queerest prom I have ever been to. <laughs> yeah, this is good. It is now time for the judges' critiques. First up, Isis and Ruby Couture. Hello. Hello, Hi. everybody. Yeah, I don't get Ruby mom and Couture. daughter. Yeah. How do you feel right now? I well, see first, Fire Nights. I y'all. Yes. I'm so good. <laughs> <laughs> Uh -huh. Amazing. I like feel so beautiful. Hear me when I say you are an absolute goddess tonight. And the confidence and posing and the fact that you couldn't see wow. it makes it Oh yeah, that's right. With her without the glasses is totally different. A prom, but I think Girl, you need to get some contacts. Cool ever. Isis, you look gorgeous as well. We haven't seen you like this yet in the competition. My only criticism is, is I'm having a hard time still figuring out what this story is. Exactly. I am like an old dusty showgirl that just finished, and she is the prom girl. I didn't get that on the yeah. road. Yeah. I don't see any we old dusty nothing. A mother daughter connection. Yeah. We don't have to look alike, but we have to understand. There, I didn't get that. Mm. I agree. <laughs> yeah, they look great, stunning, but, but I don't get the, the story. That was your first time in drag. I, this one had a mother daughter, yeah. but the daughter doesn't look as good as, let's say, but I feel she is. Great, and I felt mm. super right? confident, and she knew exactly what I wanted, and she pulled it off, so I got your story right from the beginning. I yeah, knew exactly I get the story. who both of you were. I'm loving the Kim K wet Met Gala inspired hair. The way you painted Stormy, I mean, there is a family resemblance, and I, I really, really like your faces. I like our faces too. <laughs> <laughs> the execution might not have been as polished as maybe you would have wanted it to be, but you sold the mother daughter story to me. I had so much fun watching the two of you. It is mind blowing to ever think that it's the first time that you're doing drag, so congratulations. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Adriana and Bella Dawn. Donna, gorgeous. Just stunning. Belladonna, how are you feeling? I'm having so much fun. Besides the heels. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. there. And I 
just got to like have a problem I never had. Belladonna, you look beautiful. I love the jewels. I love the hair. The makeup is really beautiful, and you were just shining. Out I love there. that rose color. I love color. this dress mm -hmm. so much. I love the simplicity of it. I love the cut of it. I love the color. I don't see any kind of corset line or tight line or anything on that. So good job on that. You also look beautiful. I really like this outfit. I love the naughty mommy thing. My problem comes in with the presentation on the runway. I didn't really understand the connection between the two of you. I wish that you two kind of matched up a little bit more. Both looks are amazing, maybe more individually. Yeah. Adriana, it's the same as guys. It's two, like two well. different stories. You're back mom and you still have a sex life. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Benjamin, good job. Sophia and Apollo. <laughs> yeah, Apollo totally you dated. Prom fantasy. In prom wear, you see a very heteronormative idea of what a man should wear and what a woman should wear. I had this fantasy of deconstructing the gender roles in clothing. It's a modern day queer prom, it's gender bending, it's gender fuck, and I love it. I also totally got the story. The minute you came out, I was like, I know that lady. I know that over the hill goth rocker chick who's like, yeah, I used to party back in the day, I'm a kid now. <laughs> <laughs> this outfit that you've made for Apollo, I mean, I would literally wear it. The cap ruffle sleeve, the blouse, the lace, the exaggerated French cuff. It's just so cool. I feel like someone's gonna knock this off. It's really, really mm. good. And it's gonna be me. <laughs> <laughs> it was such a joy to see both of you have that mother-daughter storyline. It was a maternal moment. I wanted to give them the, the perfect prom. Like, you know what I mean? Like. You being here and you being on the stage, you're gonna inspire so many other teens to live their truth. Yeah. And you remind me so much of my kids. Thank you for putting an image, in flesh, in heart and in soul, an idea. You're making it real. Thank you. I really did not think that drag could be something that I could see myself in. Drag is for everybody. Mm -hmm. Everybody, yeah, every right. shape, size, gender, whatever, drag is for you. I love I really this episode. I like that other people like me can see themselves in drag and in queer culture and queer history. <laughs> Geometric and mm. electric metric. Oh. Electric, how are you feeling? This is crazy. I, I never thought I would be on a stage like this, and I am shook. You definitely look like Gia's daughter, which is a huge compliment. I love this look. I think it's so fun. I love the mismatched shoe. <laughs> I, love the little I didn't even catch <laughs> yeah. that. I love the details on it. It's purely geometric. I love this transformation for you, and I love the story the two of you told on the runway. A woman who had a rough life and wanted better for her daughter, and she tried to like push her and like, make her the prom. <laughs> Queen. And I love that. It, it was very dropped and gorgeous to me. You were like I love it. Queendorella. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yes. Perfect acting. You Thank know, you. we were entertained. Oh. I love that you let Electric go first, which is something that I would do as a mother. Yeah. But then, of course, I would come down like this, too. I love the little hint of purple. Yeah, yeah, that matches her daughter. To your daughter. I that didn't notice that till just now. Is bringing me back to my actual prom. I wore a purple faux fur blazer that my mom made. <laughs> I was the That's... head of the prom committee that year. What? And my night ended. That didn't even look right. Like that. that there were a group of guys that wanted to beat me up, and so I left the gym. Oh and no! That's how I left my prom. That was oh. my entire high school experience. Man. So now seeing my. all of you up here, living your truth, my mind is blown how far we've come and it oh, does come. get better. And it makes me so happy to see all of you being who you want to be. Thank you, yeah. everyone. Well, you That's are top in the workroom. Bye. The judges will well, sign each other's you. different back then. Mm. They wanted to kill all gays. Mm. So, like, I feel so expensive, so luxurious. And to be the face for like so many other black trans kids around the world is like, that means so much to me because I wish I had that, you know? Thank you for all of this because I feel amazing. If I have to lip sync, I'm okay with that because she is happy and that is all that matters, yeah. period. Yeah. Are you feeling my beautiful purple electric dream? I'm so inspired just by being in this room with so many like-minded people. It was really important to me to like show other people that no matter how insecure you are with your sexuality or like no matter who you are, you can still be yourself authentically. I think going to an all-guy school when I was younger put a lot of internalized homophobia in my mind and I always thought I couldn't express myself with makeup or painting my nails and, and now I feel like all of you guys have given me the confidence to just do whatever I want because it doesn't matter how I look, I know I look gorgeous right now. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I, it just matters it. that I do what I want to do, and I, and thank you all for showing me that. I wish I had you guys. I think his tattoo is, is that's on her chest the is what is exposed. It looks can, fabulous. Like, be here and do this. With that dress. I think one thing that's really beautiful about See? the LGBT yeah. community is you find that support through seeing right. it's a ourselves support in each other. Group. Seeing myself and you and seeing that I could do drag and I do have a place was so important to me and so beautiful. I won as soon as Kendall paired us together. Same. Say 100%. I was really just excited to push myself out of my comfort zone and really just be the superstar for like all the kids who like were like me. Oh god, tears. Uh, <laughs> you were already a superstar before, but I just wanted you to feel fantastic and I think that I did. I feel like Michelle Visage. I love <laughs> Michelle Visage, that's funny. <laughs> Adriana's real housewife slash latex cool mom serve is spectacular. Mm -hmm. yeah. Belladonna's rose gold sharp shoulders, strong shoulder wow. look was so great. But did you get mother daughter from that? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then there was nothing vintage about that look that Belladonna was wearing. It looked like they were just from different eras. I totally different. Look beautiful. Be I love the challenges of the gown. I did find it didn't look as polished as I wanted it to for somebody who I know knows how to sew. I don't agree. It's a very thin four-way stretch fabric, and I was really impressed. The hemline going up to the slit, it was puckering a lot. I disagree with you. Yeah, if you stand you're up wrong. right now, we can... <laughs> oh, you want to see it around like that? You want to see it around there? Right? Yeah. Where? Where's the puckering? Right. Where's the puckering? Oh, no, I'm not that. 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 I'm not they knew the assignment. They kind of do that every week. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> you're wrong. And I'm okay with that. Dramatic, love the mustache. Yeah, I this, so I think this is this one's okay. Means to die. Dream. Oh dear. This is oh dear. What Pythia did is that she listened to her kid the way parents should listen to their kids. And together their story was very apparent. I think this was an incredible week for Pythia. Gia looked beautiful as her cool mom in that look. She really allowed electric to shine, which I know is not inherent in her yeah, personality. It's not you know? her first go to know. <laughs> Gia in a completely different silhouette. Yeah. Like with the breastplate and with the hip pads, we've never seen that from her. That's great. It off really well. Yeah. This keeps getting harder and harder. But I think we've made our decision. Mm. Bring back our queen. Oh, which one? I go for queens. Gia. <laughs> we have made some decisions. Geometric. This week you gave us an electric shock and left us buzzing. You are safe. Oh, you may move to the that means And great job this week. Thank you Pithia? so much. Mm -hmm. I think so. Why not Pithia. Gia? This week, you took us to the dark side, and we saw the light. Congratulations. Congratulations! Yeah! The winner of this week's Maxi Challenge. I won a makeover slash design challenge. That's now good. And she made two outfits. Yeah, you maybe that's part of it. And they definitely as well, looked cohesive. Yeah. A $5,000 donation to It Gets Better Canada. Mm. It Gets Better Canada's mission is to uplift, empower, and connect two SLGBTQ plus youth across Canada. Oh, that's amazing. Cool. Thank you, thank you. What that's I just really got cool. to do is so important to me. In their age, I really hated myself. And I was praying to God every day to fix me. Or to take me out of this life. Wow. So winning this and being able to showcase to these kids that it does get better. And we're fucking fabulous. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. And I'm so thankful for this win. I'm so sorry. I'm pulling a Gia. <laughs> I'm pulling a Gia. Thank you so much. Adriana. I'm sorry, my dear, but you were up for elimination. Yeah. Kendall Gender. You're safe. This week you lost some thunder. But you weathered the storm. You're safe. You are safe. I knew she was safe. Yeah. The I wig looks like her real hair just taller. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that funny? Yeah. It's like piles of curls. <laughs> it's like her. It's like her. 
Kendall's hair just got watered and it just grew upward. Up, dude. Up, dude. Everybody say love. Written by RuPaul. Oh. This is your last chance to impress the judges and save yourself from elimination. The time has come for you to lip sync for your Ice life. looks fabulous. No. I mean, just a disco this diva fucking no. fabulous. Hey, baby, I and am not going down without a fight. Good luck. They both look really yeah. good. Fuck it up. Yeah, I mean that the dress that that Isis has is just so much movement. I mean, I did have doing good too. Just kill them. I mean, they're both giving great yeah. energy. <laughs> bear. A bear coming out of her ass. <laughs> it's her fetish. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Maybe there's a double save? Yeah, hopefully. We've made our decision. Uh, uh. Isis Couture. Shantae, you stay. Mm. Oh, thank God. You may join the others. Thank you so much. Oh, I love you, I love you, I love you. Are they going to do a double save? Adriana, you are a magical queen. And we will always be under your spell. Now, Sashay. Mm. Oh. Okay. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I'm very proud of what I show. And it's just a uh, see you later. So. Do you need oh. a lift? <laughs> Please. Yes. We love you so we much. Love you. Yeah, love, love you. Love, love, love you. I love you. Besos. Y abrazos a todos. Now, I'm going to have some fun by myself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. I have to force myself to speak English. <laughs> I cannot believe that I did this. I was that little kid in Colombia and never thought that I was going to be here living my dream. I do still have to the world, Bye. But this is just a beginning Putas. and you better be ready. Oh, you're so cute. Bye, ciao. You live to slay wow. another day. And remember... Stay true north, strong, and fierce. Yay! It was a great episode. Yay! I loved it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Everybody did a great job, and, and also those kids are amazing. Um, yeah. Yeah. I like that challenge. That kind of challenge where they bring someone younger, or not doesn't have to be younger, but mm -hmm. when they bring somebody, maybe the younger. I like that. Yeah. They've done. See, sometimes when they did the older, like then you mm -hmm. get the issues where the guy can't walk because mm -hmm. he's got issues with his legs. Yeah. You know. They they love the lifting episode. Yeah, it was. was. Yeah, it was great. Very tearful. And yeah. I don't know why I I, I I cried so much today. I have a, I have heartless, you know. He's usually heartless. <laughs> I've never cried. He, he doesn't <laughs> usually cry. Yeah. I cry often. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, it's crying. Get it out of here. Yeah. <laughs> That's what one of my friends said at a party once. I was just a little drunk and I was getting emotional. He's like, oh. he's like, all right, it's crying. Get it out of here. <laughs> it's crying. Get it out of here. <laughs> and that was, that's my best friend in the world. <laughs> and he said that to me. 
All right, well, that was, you know, this season had been getting a little kind of ho hum, I think. Mm -hmm. This one lifted it up. So. Yeah. Yeah. So, I was happy with this. Yeah, and I like the, the top four. Yeah. Are we down with the top four? Yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I do like this top four. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is a very strong top four. Good. All right. What did you think about this episode? And what do you think about those top four? So tell us what you thought and comment below and subscribe if you haven't done yet. And thank you for commenting, uh, guys. And yes. uh, I'm, I'm expecting more and more and more. He always wants more, more, more. How do you like it? How do you like it? More, more, more. <laughs> I don't know that song. You don't? Look it up. All right. All right. Mata ne, ja ne. Bye. Bye, dollars. <laughs>